Hi guys, this is Walkman and today I've got you a Blender tutorial. Today we are going to talk about fire in Minecraft. Well, yeah, Minecraft fire in Blender actually. So I'm going to teach you how to make fire in Minecraft. Uh, I never saw a video on that on YouTube, so I thought I'd make it. So yeah, let's start with my little build I've got here. I'm going to show you here you can see my little build I've got a little platform and yeah a few blocks on top of each other so this block is going to be our fire so what do we need for to make fire well we don't need the top so make sure you have the yeah, this little button right here selected to select faces of the object click it after you hit tab of course if you can't uh, if you don't know what I'm doing here are the buttons I click so these are the mouse buttons and these are the keyboard buttons so if you're a beginner press tab to go into edit mode click the face face select and click on the top face press the delete button and delete face faces now you don't have the top anymore and we're also going to delete the bottom so this is the basic setup for fire but there's more to do of it we're going to select one of the faces and I'm going to duplicate it with shift with holding shift plus D then you have that and just enter so it doesn't move or something then you go into front view numpad 1 as you can see you press Z to go through the objects like they are invisible and you press R for rotate and 25 make it minus so 25 uh, minus and then you move it move it right here that it crosses the z-axis with a few pixels or something alright now you go to top view numpad 7 and but guys if you don't have a numpad you go to view and you click top or you click view and you click left or you click view and front and that stuff so I use the numpads to go faster so we're shift shift D in this so duplicating this and move it there now I'm going to duplicate these faces and rotate oh no rotate them for 90 degrees so this is what we have now this is actually how fire looks in Minecraft but it's not yet textured so what we are going to do is textured of course so to start we are going to open the image we are going to texture so image open image it's on my desktop and it's called fire texture there we go as you can see I've got all the fire textures uh, on a line with the new minecraft 2.5 no 1.5 uh, there should be a a fire texture in your minecraft but this one that one is kinda bugged so you can try it with that but it didn't work for me so I made this one I copied and paste and went through paint and went, to, went through paint.net used Photoshop and stuff to get this so if you want it I'll put a link in the description so you can download it and it's pretty awesome to use because it's not bugged or anything it's perfectly wait I'm going to put off my magnet I'm going to scale on the X axis scale X 
then I'm going to use B to have this cross thingy. Select these two and drag it up till it's a cool square, as you can see. Now my textures are kind of upside down, so I'm going to rotate it by 180 degrees, and there we go. And it's not yet showed, so I'm going to go to my textures and press new image or movie select the fire texture I always choose to use pre multiplied and yeah so I'll show you in a minute which buttons I clicked because I'm not always sure what to click Yeah. <coughs> so what I did here is I went to my to my materials tab and I made diffuse black but I don't know if that will affect anything but I'm going to click shadeless because fire is shadeless because it's light and light can't have shades on it so yeah I clicked transparency Z transparency will pop up but the alpha will be 1 so you drag that till 0 so cuz if you use 1 you can't you still have the black but if you use 0 this should be gone next um, I'm going to click those things so traceable use mist and face textures so I don't know why but yeah it's just there then I'm going to receive transparent and that should be it for the materials tab then we go to the textures tab what I did here is made new texture image removing then I opened the image I have called fire texture I didn't click show alpha did not I I had this use alpha. I clicked pre multiplied, didn't use the fields. I I unclicked use. I didn't I le I left mid map, but I clicked interpolation. It makes your your object go less um uh, go go more pixelated actually if you use real minecraft textures they're 16 by 16 pixels and that's really small for a blender as you can see here it's kind of blurry these blocks but if i render it they're not blurry because of the interpolation then i did nothing in the image mapping you could also also go clip or something oh wait but i clicked the block so you can go clip but yeah doesn't affect a lot. There you go. UV, that's really important. And here, alpha, also really important. If you don't check this, you'll still have, you'll just have nothing. So yeah, there you have the fire. But you're asking me, this is a tutorial and you didn't make the fire move. Well, no, I didn't make the fire move because that's what we are going to do now. So I'm going to close this because we don't need this anymore. I hope. Well, let's just go there. We are going to need this. And we are going to need a timeline. So press the left 
bottom corner and check timeline. So now you have a timeline going yeah from zero to whatever. So yeah, we'll start at one actually, not on zero. So there is a new feature in Blender. I know I don't know how long it's here, but it's called Animal. Um yeah, most of you guys won't have this. So I'll show you how how to get this. So you go to user preferences, you go to add-ons. I don't know if you can see it uh, if I'm recording this, but yeah. So you go to add-ons, and in this search bar, you type anim, anim all, and you just check this box to the right, and you close that. So now you have animal. So when you go to to edit mode and you can see this texture is only packed with the object. So if I click UV and I insert keyframe, that means yeah, on the on timeline I have a new key yeah, a new frame. Make I made a new frame, yeah. So what we are going to do on frame two is just move the the the, the selection to the next uh, to the next fire and insert again. And you have to do this thirty times. So I'm not going to do that all because I did that yesterday and it took me a long while. Let's say I do 10. There. I'm ready with the animal. Uh, so, as you can see, I'm going to go back. There, I'm in... In... Yeah, what's it called? Yeah. Uh, wait for it, wait for it, it's not coming, nope, nope, um, come on, yeah, sorry, edit mode, so I'm in edit mode, and I'm going to show the timeline, so, as you can see, the fire moves, yeah, it's only 10 frames, so, so yeah, so for you guys who have uh, done 32 frames and you think what the fuck I'm not going to do this for a whole animation 100 frames no you don't have to you just go to the dope sheet and when you have your 32 frames you scroll up you press B to with for the selector guy you select them all the, fr the keyframes that's these yellow things are here the yellow things and you duplicate them with shift T there you go and you just duplicate them till your animation is done so yeah these aren't going to fit to each other but yeah so as you can see the fire just moves and it's it's pretty cool actually so yeah so if we go render we have this nice fire I don't know yet how to move the invisibility stuff thingy cuz yeah I'm not a pro with texture mapping and stuff so if you know how to do this just comment on this video and tell me how to do it and I might include it in my next tutorial. Thank you for watching guys and I'm going to show you the full a, a full render of the fire. Bye.